friend Brock Garn and all of his buddies. I'm going to have you guys just go through and introduce yourselves because the names have already gone out of my head. For, for Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, Matt Garn. Jeff Davis. Brock Garn. John Thompson. Jake Sorensen. This will be a really fun uh, video. You guys know I'm trying to it kind of expand what I'm doing with the Feast Mode page. Uh, Brock uh, invited us over to uh, 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 work on a, a bison that they just harvested about a week ago, right? Yep. It's been hanging. Dead, yeah. right? so, now, bison is an extremely healthy meat, um, very red, um, and uh, a lot of creatine in there. From a nutrition standpoint, it is a very, very healthy meat. Hunting is very much a lifestyle. Just like bodybuilding, um, uh, you have to train for it. I mean, it's not uh, if you're hiking in and, and out with a you know 15 miles with an elk on your back, you better be in shape, right? Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for letting us join you guys, and let's get cut. <laughs> really fast to get any of the little hairs that are left over and then we're going to start with the skirt snakes he's got skirt snakes on the inside and the outside we'll take the brisket off right here then we'll take the front shoulder off and then we'll work on the prime rib or the back or the uh, back strap depending on what he wants to do with it and then we'll trim it up and get the ribs ready these will all turn into short and long ribs and then we have a neck roast up here. Now we get the lift. How much uh, uh, meat do you anticipate getting out of this? We're looking for approximately three to four hundred pounds after everything's done. If we get more than that, it's a dumb way up. Three to four hundred pounds. Yeah, we're probably looking about seven bucks a pound. Sounds better, yeah. yeah. Seven, eight bucks a pound. That's that's pretty freaking good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I came from. I did the harvesting, the right. cutting, the wheat bolts, so yeah. But they're all, you know, the anatomy is the same. A lot of times your hands can do a lot of it. So sometimes you don't have to do so much knifing. Okay. Because if there's seams, yeah. you just stick your fingers in there and then you can pull the meat. Okay. Then you gotta sometimes just help it with the knife. Okay. So, but like right in there, it'd probably be a good time to use the knife and just cut. Grind doesn't have to look pretty. This is rare to get one out whole. This is break it down all this much. Because usually in the field, you're doing you're all the deep and quartering yeah. everything out yeah. there in the field. So you had to go get an uh, Idaho hunting license? Or... This is all private parties, so it was their, their farm raised animals. And then it just right over the state line here and brought it back. Shout out to my boys over at Cutco for the knife. No, my wife and I do a lot of All right, give me something to chop up. I haven't really followed the Liver King story. What? He came out and said he's that he's guy. been juicing and said even that, though he's been saying he was that freaking guy. Yeah, dude. I, I mean, everybody. You can't. You can't kid a kidder, dude. I mean, yeah. everybody that knows everybody knew. knows. Yeah, but he was taking ridiculous amounts of uh, uh, HGH, and I'd never even heard of the dude until um, until this whole controversy thing came around. Huh. But, uh, Is it going to kill his business, you think? No. Or? Probably skyrocketing. Yeah. The guy named all his pigs kept. <laughs> <laughs>
It's kind of a lack of imagination, isn't it? <laughs> it's more it's simple. You don't get attached, I True. guess. So this is the elk over here. And a very different color on that, huh? Yeah. You don't, you just do this for yourself and friends. Yeah. <laughs> so much equipment. What's your ratio that you're looking to mix on these things? So in brats is a 20% ratio. In summer sausage, we do a 30% ratio. Okay. Uh, how's that going over there? It's getting mushy. Yeah, I got some. So did you butcher up your pig too yourself? No, I had him do it. Pigs are a little finicky. Oh, really? Yeah, just with getting skin properly and whatnot. You guys want to hit a line real quick? Don't get that on. <laughs> that fast. Take a couple phone calls and have to work to yeah, It's a typical day for Rusty. <laughs> Is that on a timer? Or did you just flip that I have off? a foot pedal. Oh, I was like, what the heck? I didn't even. Going sure. bottle back? Sure, no. Sure. Smell that. Smell like rock? Smells like dead meat. <laughs> smell that one. This one? Yeah. It may smell like dead meat. That's what Rusty said. So you don't use any other binder than just the, uh, just the, the fat? It smells like rock, yeah. No bread crumbs or anything. No, in the actual burger, we use oats Okay. and an egg. It's a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio. Uh -huh. A pound of meat, a cup of oats, one egg. When we're skinny, too, that's for sure. Here, there's your... That's my salty. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I've never thought about doing any business with this. Oh. Take fun out of it? Yeah. Why don't you turn what you love into a... Into a Business. job, it, it's always work. Yeah. I get that. You ready? You want to grab a handful of paper towels? Yeah, I'll be the catcher. He'll be the pusher. I don't have to do as much work. <laughs> it's just too hard. <laughs> I can't get that on my face, man. Stop. Okay. Yep. There's a vein right there. Get that. The main vein. <laughs> My mom out here. I mean, this is more fulfilling. Oh, get, it, yeah. get to do it with your friends, right? Get to actually have harvested the animal. Get the fulfillment of being able to support and and like actually. Um, feed your family. It's a much more humane way of doing it too, honestly. I think so. You never really know what they're doing with their animals. No, it's true. Is that better, Chop? Yeah, you know, it's natural. It's got some cheddar chunk in there too. Oh my God. <laughs> Sharp cheddar. I made a batch of these one time. Okay. And it. Uh, Alright, we're good. 
It was so salt, like ridiculous. You couldn't get the salt out of the. No, I was like, what is the deal? Well, I went back and looked, and I washed these like I was supposed to. Yeah. It was the actual seasoning was like loaded, and I was like, this is disgusting. Wow. Yeah. That's awful. Okay. Yeah, it was loaded. It wastes a whole batch. Yeah. It, Eat that cookie and watch it. this. Yeah. He's making that look a lot easier than it is. It's all about the pressure you give right here at the head. Oh, I already know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not my She's wife. A good sport. That's a different. My yeah. wife is pregnant too. That's not my wife. <laughs> we could have made this a commercial for like KY or <laughs> Astro Glide or Dr. John's or Adam and Eve. Man, we could have. <laughs>